Hey guys, Poldu here, and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni. Real quick, before we start off, I just want to let you know that there might be a week break for Nino Kuni, so this is going up Wednesday. It might not be another one until next Wednesday, uh, depends how things go. Uh, because with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming out, and Smash Bros. for Wii U coming out, I really want to put all my energy and time into making those, making them like nice. This this series I love, and um, those of you who watch it, thank you. I love you guys. Um, but this is more of like a chill series. I can kind of just set up the PS3, hit record, and go through the story, and just kind of kind of chill, see what's going on in the story, talk with you guys. So all my energy and time is going to be put towards them. For, like, for this initial, well, like, little burst. Um, so, because of that, Nino Kuni might not, um, might not be around for, like, a week, a week and a half most. Like, if it's not up Wednesday, I'll try my hardest Friday. Um, but for sure, for sure, the next Monday. It will it'll be back. But anyways, let's let's get on let's let's get going. We just uh solved the broken arted of these guys and they had to get ready to make mom laugh. So let's let's get that going. It's time for the smiley and surly show. You ready to watch a split mom sides? You got the guts to make the fairy godmother laugh and take a journey to the ends of her innards. Sure. The stage is set, the lights are lit, we'll crack her up, you crack on in there, right? Yeah, that's what she said. There were a lot of innuendos when we first heard about this quest to go inside, Mum. It's about time they actually kind of, kind of put, just, just threw it right out there. Let's go, shall we? It's like a dream, this is. Ain't it, though? Ain't it, though? Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice. Nice link, man. What it is, is, see, always wanted to run a little weapon shop, I have. A weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it, though? Hey, do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see, and you, um. A zookeeper, right? And, uh, but all your animals have run away and your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you dib? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do how is that any flipping easier? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, eh? Huh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow Twanky's pretty legendary. Righto. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. And knock knock out, do cha ching. Clear off, cha ching. What the heck was that, man? We slammed the door in my flipping face. We didn't open yet, have we? Not open yet, but flipping out of here, Bill. All right, we're open now. Oh, you are, right. Knock knock, cha ching. How do? How do? I uh, just wanted to look at what weapons you got here, innit, though? Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What? No, it's flipping not. It's my shop. Yeah, you a weapon shop. You can't go telling me what I sell to my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right. Sorry, man. I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Righto. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got for you, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them. That's what I want. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, aren't you? 
I am sorry, sir, huh? but that is just too big an axe. Flipping <laughs> axe, how's rubbish? It is not a little. I suppose it won't take much. I, I, I enjoyed that. that. That was good. I like that. <laughs> Ain't it, though? God. All right. Tiny left on the flipping head off she is. Brilliant. They did it. I can't quite believe it. That's great. We should hurry. We won't make it inside the shop if she stops in, inside if she stops laughing. You're not wrong, Willy boy. Let's get a wiggle on. Launch command receive. Roger, Roger that. Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. Ow. Three, two, one. Blast think so. All here in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, isn't it? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's mummy's tummy where it all started. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Now we're in mummy's tummy. Oh, look at the little classrooms. They're so sweet. Is that where they are, isn't it? That's right, man. This is where we brought them, brought them up, isn't it? Can't do without a classroom or two to teach us the ways of the fairy world, can you? Wow, I can't wait to see what they look like inside. Yes, sir. We have a job to do, remember? You're all right. Sorry, Oliver. Okay, let's have a look for these lilies. Oh, ah. Uh, remind me why I'm doing this again. So are we going to bounce? Can we jump? Boop, boop, boop. We side scroll in now. What? Okay. So we have to go there. Do we have to, like, stop? I don't know. We'll, we'll go to this first one and see if we just, like, stop in every... What? What? <laughs> Kya! Nasty, nasty, beastie, beastie. Mr. Trippy, look. Oh, Nickers, if we don't do something quick, that rotter's going to make himself a little omelet. We have to save him. Oh, wait, what? Dinky A, B, and C. What is even going on right now? Uh, let's do a cut loose. Hit all of them. See, just kind of gauge how strong these guys are. Oh, okay. Not bad. Relatively weak. I wonder if I can uh, tame a dinky while we're in here. Have a little bearded guy with a key join our team. Okay. Let's see. It's been a while since we, we fought it, feels like. But, alright. Esser it's level 23, Wombo it's level 9, Chata it's level 9, Biggie Smalls it's level 12, Ruffles it's level 14. Are you okay? Ta, ta, ta very much. Oh, he's so sweet. 
Oi, Lidley, what happened by here anyway? Nasty, nasty, proper nasty. <laughs> What's that? No, never. Why well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Well, there's terrible. The fake care center has been invited. Horrible beasties have turned up, and they've been bullying all the littlies, the rotters. That's awful. We have to help them. Please, man. Please, man. Please, please, please. Of course we'll help them. Goes without saying, ain't it? I'm just wondering how come beasties got in here in the first place. Could he have made it all the way to the fairyground, Shadar? Or Shadar? It's possible, I suppose, yeah. But if he's made it past Mum. Judging by what we saw him do in that storm, I don't think getting past your mum would be such of a would be much of a challenge. It doesn't matter how they got in. What matters net right now is saving the littlies. You're right, Esther. Or you stay where it's safe, all right? No, man. Wait, man. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you hear him? Stay here, he said. But look at him. We can't just leave him here. He's terrified. We have to take him with us. But we're off bashing beasties, ain't it? It's not safe, man. It's safe by here. Scary, scary. Proper scary. Ah! <laughs> Don't be scared. You'll be fine. I guess it's kind of dangerous to leave him here, too, huh? Mr. Drippy? Frippin' heck, man. All right, come on, then, you. We'll look after you. Yes, come along now, Littley. Tidy, tidy. Let's go. Tidy, tidy. Go, go, go. Lily is now following us. Okay. Come on, 12 minutes. Okay. Just want to make sure we're, we're, we're still good on time. Looks like the door to the Rose Room's come unlocked. Okay, yeah. So it's like room after room after room. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five rooms, looks like. Okay, so Rose Room. What the hell is that? We're gonna kill it, whatever it is. Splish, splash, splash. Oh no, another one. Okay. These are interesting. Airhead and splishers. What? <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's attack the airhead first. Seems like the, the more threatening of the three. The splisher B has been cursed. Yeah, these guys. Ain't nothing. Luckily, I mean, it would be kind of bad if these were, like, all mini-bosses. Sitting here, like, ten minutes per fight, like most of our bosses are. Well, ten minutes is even a bit short. Like, some of our bosses have been twenty minutes. There have been some really long fights in this game. They're fun, though. They are really fun. It's just really, really disheartening whenever you, uh, you die. Which, I've, I think we've only died once, luckily. Got a sun drop, and somebody hits level 22. But yeah, after like a 15 minute fight and you die, ugh. Okay, so we got a bunch of little leaves falling us. And the tulip room has come unlocked, okay. So that is over here. Is that the second room? Yes. Okay. So what kind of weird thing is going to... Oh, okay, so this is like a sea monster. We fought one of these before. They're... Yeah, hoorays. Let's go. We know about these. Um, We still got... Yeah, I'm going to go for cut loose. Because we're still... We're, we're looking pretty good in terms of mana. Let's go ahead and cut loose... Do a nice sum. Whoop! Didn't mean to defend. Do a nice sum of damage to all of them, and it actually wasn't that nice <laughs> after all. The stupid buffs. There needs to be a buff cancel because I just took a lot of damage just because I was frozen being buffed. There we go. All right, let's pick up what we can. But there we go. Oh, nice. Got a moon drop from that one. And Oliver is level 24. Wombo hits level 10. And Chatot hits level 10. Can't wait for Wombo to get, like, really good. Get them Wombo combos going. Daffodil Room. Okay. Is it this one? No. 
Just waiting for the, the map to pop up. There we go. So what's in this one? There's like a like a seahorse dragon thing. Like a Kingdra. <laughs> Plessy. And a Sparky. Alright. Um, I'm kind of scared of the Sparky. More so than the Plessies. Plessies are doing some... some he or, or they were doing some hefty damage. Plasma Ball... Okay, why... Okay. Oh, the Plasma Ball confused me and I was about to go tar... Or go attack Esther. Interesting. Okay. So... Swain's down. The Plessies. Oh my gosh. I don't know what Swain was doing, but these Plessies just ran train on him. The Sparky was the harder one to kill, but those, the Plessies must have been outputting some nice damage. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see. 150 HP. That'll be perfect. Uh, we'll give a sandwich here, a sandwich there. And actually, we will go ahead and do... This is 30 MP. Yeah, we'll give Esther the strong coffee. She is our healer. Okay, Violet room has come unlocked. I think this is the last one before we go to that middle door. This is kind of a neat little thing, though. What? This thing's huge. Blubba lubba lubbar. This thing is gigantic. It's got some hoorays. Um, I'm gonna take out the hoorays because as big as this thing is, we do some some hefty damage to the hoorays, and I just want to get rid of them. There we go. Because we know we we can can get rid of them with ease. And I am taking quite a lot of damage. This blubber. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's let's try Momo. Ugh, Momo's not doing much better. Let's just go to us. And Let's go with a pulse. Yeah, it's doing 47. Looks like what we're gonna have to do. This this guy's like uh This guy's a tank. Oh, I did not mean to frostbite. I want to pulse. There we go. Draw poison. Oh, cure. Okay. It's like, is that... Can I poison them? Just start racking up damage over time? Spells... I should just start pressing up instead of going all the way down. There we go. Okay, he's almost dead. Few more pulses, like two more, I think. Could do it. Seymour's out here. You go, Seymour. Show him what you got. You too, go go. Oh, like one more hit. Let me just like smack him. There we go. Okay. Oh man. I talked about last episode was nosebleed season. I think I feel one coming on soon. If I can hold off. <laughs> I don't want to just sit here and just sniff for, for like 10 more minutes. Mambo is level 11. Chata hits level 11. Biggie Smalls is level 13. Ruffles is level 15. Mm. Okay. Oh, here, oh, here. Tidy, 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 tidy. That's some proper good work, you lot. Looks like all the littlies are safe and sound. Are you sure? Thank goodness for that. Let's have a quick count up. 
One, two, three, four, five. All the ladies are alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Never let them go again. There's eleven. There's a dozen. Hey, that's... That's Bevan. He's my cousin. How do, man? Why, hey, the gang's all here. Tidy. Rescued all the lilies. Not bad. Blimey, rhymey, tidy, tidy, drippy, drippy. God, do they ever shut up? They're so annoying. How do we get rid of them? We take them to the exit, didn't it? There's a slide outside you go down. That, and that's the way out just by the bottom there. A slide? Why is there a slide? It's to remind them that they can slip and slide on the banana skins of life in there. <laughs> what? Metaphorical slide lessons. But when they get outside, the same stuff won't slide. Ain't it? Typical mom that is. She's a big fan of the old tough love. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. Are you fairies all completely mad? <laughs> I don't care what he means. I'm just looking forward to the slide. Oh, to be young and simple and flexible. Sounds like it's going to hurt. He can't be that old. He's probably like, what, 20? I'm 20. <laughs> Not long now until the Littleys are finally born. Er, let's take them to the exit. Okay. So, I have a feeling it's not going to be that easy. Oh, wait. But what's in here? Hold up. What's in here? Oh. In your ears, there's something I've got to tell you. Our emergency exit from the back passage. If you need getting out of mom's guts in a hurry, just nip up those stairs. Don't be daft, man. They ain't baby steps. Okay. Okay. Uh, grand entrance. Okay. So, we're going to use this save just in case uh, whatever is going to stop us from leaving easily kills us. Because I have a feeling there's going to be something there. We're not just going to go have have fun time on a slide and uh, that'd be the end of it. I, I would be surprised if that was the case. Okay. Sorry for the sniffles. Okay. Now all you've got to do is hop on this slide, and we'll be out of mom's guts before you know it. You ready to go, Ollie boy? Sure. Right, oh! Come on, Littleys! It's time for the slidey ride of your tiny, tiny lives! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, come on! Huh? What the... what is that thing? Knickers! That rotter of a squid's got our kids! What the heck? The Littleys! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake! Uh, do we have any choice? Just like I thought. I'm gonna fight a giant jellyfish. See, so it's water, um, and with most bosses, I don't... Well, at the same... Okay, okay, with most, most bosses, I don't use my familiars until I'm all out of mana. But at the same time, I usually do kind of better damage whenever I do use my familiars. So let's, let's start off with Smitey. Let's change some things up. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. Uh, he hits rather hard. It looks like Smitey does, like, critical damage to him. That guy does a lot. Sea stars, let's defend. See what this is. Okay, I blocked it. It was some sort of... Oh, oh, oh. Seymour! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Seymour... No! Are you kidding me? I wanted to switch to Seymour. I didn't know if he was going to use it or not. Oh, and that just got rid of it. That is complete crap. 
Okay, well, I have an attack buff. Doesn't seem to be doing much, though. Okay, sea stars, defend. Let's move to... Oh god, what happened? I don't even know. Gunther, let's see. Gunther can do decent. I don't want to save the MP spam for last this time around. Usually I do it first. And maybe that's why... Maybe that... Oh my god. Maybe that's why um, my fights last so long. Let's pulse it. <laughs> Wait. How much did my pulse do? Wait. Bolt from the blue. This is the one we need to defend for sure. I did... Okay. I did a lot to Swain. Okay, so the pulse does 43. As pretty much expected. And I'm, I'm super upset that Golden Glim went to waste. I've never seen Seymour use it. But, ah, uh, I didn't think it was going to get rid of it like that. Luckily, though, this thing's popping out glims like... Well, it was popping out glims like no other. Let's defend. Swain's going down. Can already tell. Swain's going down. Okay. Let's just start pulsing it again. Oh. 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 Let's get Smitey on the case. I was like, don't you dare. I thought she was gonna get it. Slash dance! Let's go, Smitey! One seventy one. Get wreckled me, friend. All right. So the DPS is coming in, like two hits from Smitey, and that's the same as a pulse. I am being hit rather hard. Sea stars. Let me let me run back here. That, oh. Okay. Confused. I... What is baby shower? No. You've got to be kidding me. What the frippin' heck? There's loads of littlies coming out of it, man. Mind you, it looks proper knackered after popping that lot out. Now's your chance. Give it a smack or two, Ollie boy. Ah. Well... Smitey, please. Smitey. I can't. Smitey! Smitey! I can't do anything. There we go. Okay, okay. I need to cut loose. Hit all of them at the same time. And all... Oh my god. Look at all the gold glims! No! I didn't... Oh my god, this is... I'm upset. I'm super upset. Hey, hey, Esther, you want to do something? I have to sit here and defend... Oh my god, this is... This is not going to end well. Okay, cancel, run. Provisions. Uh, fish burger. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, okay. We're good. These baby jellies. I wasn't expecting them to live with so much health. Let's just start tearing into them, I guess. I don't know what else to do. 
Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so Gold Glim is over there. Esther's down. I want that Gold Glim. Apparently I can't have it. I've just lost. Guarantee it. I've just lost. Because they can't hit me. There we go. That is bullshit. Okay. So we're at 30 minutes. Um, I guess what I'll do is like... Uh, like we did with the Inferno thing. I will start next episode with a sped up version of this fight. And we'll come back in with you guys right as we kill it. <sighs> all, all those golden glims. And I can't reach them. Because of stupid confusion. Ugh, whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We will for sure beat him. Very first thing. It'll be like one minute sped up little time lapse thing. Next episode. Um, at the same time it'll be... It'll be a while, like maybe like a week, week and a half at most, like I mentioned in the beginning. But hope, again, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.